Hey, what's good? So, if you're new to the channel, you won't know that I have just very nearly finished converting my 1994 Top Express AutoQuest Mutt Home and she's just beautiful. <laughs> Still so happy with it. But I thought, since we're pretty much at the end, I will do my first night sleep in here on the drive. <laughs> Mum made me a lovely dinner, so I won't be cooking in here tonight, but I will make breakfast in the morning. And I'm just gonna chill. No telly as of yet either. But, but I've got the laptop, I can watch movies, I've got some work to do, um, I've got some wine to drink, and I'm gonna have a bit of a night off because for the last, gosh, like eight months, me and the family literally have not stopped and I'm cream crackered and I could do was just pick my feet up tonight, kind of test out, sleeping up here. Obviously the keyboard won't be there when I go to bed, but I think this will be interesting. So yeah, we'll be doing all that usual evening stuff, but in a tiny home. And it's gonna be fine. I'm actually very excited to have my own place for like the first time ever in my life. <laughs> Worship music. Music station theme. Christian praise and worship on Amazon Music. Alexa, turn it up. So I've just posted um, a few pictures of the renovation um, and my first night in here and all that on the Motor Home Happiness page on Facebook, and it's gone absolutely mental. I can't reply to everyone. Um, but if you're from the My Home Happiness page, then comment on this video and give it a thumbs up. This community is absolutely amazing. Like, I just can't believe how nice everyone is. I posted a picture last time when I picked up the van and everyone was so nice then. I just like, made me cry. <laughs> That's better. I know I keep saying in the vlogs how happy <laughs> I am and I know it's probably getting quite repetitive but I just can't help but say it I just can't hide it no I'm so excited Woo! got to get on with my normal nightly routine got to take the face off sorry if this horrifies anyone <laughs> I have mentioned in a few of the other Mart Home renovation videos that Obviously, this has been a dream of mine for like, just years. I never expected to have anything like to this magnitude. So <laughs> when I can't stop smiling, it's because it's like this van is just better than my wildest dreams, you know? And I know I haven't been fully out in it yet, like done the whole traveling thing, which is obviously the, the main huge part of why I had this dream to start with. I'm just so content already and <laughs> I'm gonna take my makeup off because it's really hard for me not to get emotional because there was a point where I thought this is just like never gonna happen for me. And here we are, like a nearly fully finished tiny home and it's literally a couple of weeks now and I'll be off for the first time minus last summer where I did a bit of traveling in my micro cover flow for the first time in like my 25 years <laughs> nearly 26 but we'll just pretend that's not true <laughs> ah it's in my eye ow ow don't know the full story of when this all began <laughs> with my master bongo back in 2019 then go and watch those vlogs do pre-warn you I was new to vlogging, so please don't cringe too hard at me. Ba, ba, da, 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 ba, da, ba, ba. <laughs> but you can get the full details there. I'll probably do a more in-depth video about it and maybe just a bit more of a live video if that's something you want to watch, but yeah. <laughs> this has been a 
a long time coming i tell you i literally have no plans i have no idea what i'm gonna do where i'm gonna go <laughs> and i used to think that was a, a part of fun <laughs> which I guess it is, and I probably will get used to that feeling, but at the minute I'm like, oh. Yeah, literally just that. <laughs> I don't really know what this does, but it's got little silver balls on it. It's meant to be like a little massage, I think. It kind of just feels more like I'm rolling marbles around on my face. Um, I don't know if it does anything, but I've got to do it anyway. I've got a whole bag of emotions going on right now in my wee little brain and the most part of me is just feeling totally blessed part of me that's just anxiety <laughs> i know i know everything's gonna work out just fine it always does and i think once i get used to it and I'm just on the road, breeze running through my hair, the mosquito bites, sunburn. I think fine. And I'll be like, this is just, this is all worth it. My dad's gonna hate this part of the video. He hates watching people put gunk on their face. <laughs> or just gunk. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Ah, it's better. I feel fresh. <laughs> Nice nails you have. E break. So this is like late for me, but I feel really quite awake still. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> the adrenaline. I'm gonna watch a movie on the laptop. Obviously, got no telly yet. I'm gonna do that, and then I'll probably climb into bed. I tell you what, though, this is the first time I felt relaxed and kind of like peace in a long time it's nice just looking around and just feeling so lucky and um, this is just the start of things to come it's not the wine talking i promise <laughs> i forgot that i don't have a light in my bedroom <laughs> and there's one there it just it's not working and i forgot about it so torch and I am climbing in. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Morning. You know what? I was so cosy last night. I'm tired though. <laughs> it's early. But, um, yeah. Cozy there. I mean, like a little cocoon. I get dressed and then make some grub. <laughs> On today's menu, we have bacon, egg, muffin with cheese. So I'm gonna show you how to make that now. You're welcome. <laughs> That makes sense. A bit of cheese. 
Whoa. Definitely gonna need another fork for this. <laughs> My cooking experience. It's okay. I've made a right mess. So after I finish this, we're gonna try and <laughs> clean this all up. I do the washing up in a very rather small sink, but it'll be fine. <laughs> So I'm gonna end this little vlog here. I hope you enjoyed my first night stay in Hope. Actually went surprisingly really well. I thought I was gonna be cold because I don't have any heating in here yet, but I was actually so warm and cozy up there. Probably a bit too hot at the time, so I don't need to worry about that just yet, especially in the summer months. I can put that to bed for a little while and maybe get a diesel heater when I have a little bit more disposable cash. So that's a bonus. Those <laughs> little fairy lights that I had. Of course, I just ripped them down when I was rolling around in bed. <laughs> and I um, have these hanging baskets with my head scarves in. Foot straight in there. It was actually quite nice. Silky fabric. My feet <laughs> at night. <laughs> very relaxing and getting in and out wasn't too bad the ladder does slide slightly so i do have to be careful sorry maybe i can pick up some like rubber feet non-slip feet or something i do worry that i'll get a little bit too cocky when i'm used to it and just go flying <laughs> and of course i do need a light up there um, i think that one can be fixed i'm not too sure i think it's the original light from 1994 <laughs> Cooking and washing up was actually pretty successful, I think. I was worried that the sink was gonna be just a bit too small. I had to get that size, I had no other choice. It was the space, it's all I had. But for one person, uh, like one plate, one pan, a few pieces of cutlery, you know, it was easy. And I had my drying mat and yeah, it's fine. That sink's gonna be more than efficient for me. And I do have a collapsible bowl. If I'm gonna make myself a big old feast, probably will happen regularly. <laughs> now, I didn't do the whole shower thing. Yeah! Because I am waiting for a shower head attachment. Things I could have benefited from which I don't have yet, actually quite minor, and actually on my list of things to get, so I know I'm not gonna be wasting any pennies when I do eventually buy it. Desk chair is one. Having the laptop on my lap, <laughs> not the most efficient way to get work done, and I'm unable to sit and play piano, and also I'm eating at a very little table and doing it my makeup and things, so, I think that's gonna be the next thing that I save up for because I do think I'll get lots of use out of it. And it was the whole idea of making the desk situation. So yeah, obviously light in the bedroom, like I said, and the shower head, and I could really do it with the telly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I've measured it. I can get 32 inch on that wall. Um, <laughs> is that excessive? Nah. <laughs> Otherwise, it all went pretty well. I know as I go along on this journey and I do some traveling and whatnot, there'll be lots of things that I'll probably want to change, add, take away. Same takeaway, um, I forgot to mention, I've just taken like four big bags of clothes out of here. <laughs> I have a problem, okay? I had winter clothes in here and I had clothes that didn't even fit me in here and it just, yeah. I've still got lots of clothes in here, don't get me wrong, but you know, there's, there's room for more now. And I think I'll find that as well. I think I'll end up not using about 10 plates that I have in the cupboard. I've got tons of makeup in there. But like, I'm just like, I don't know what I'll need. I don't know what I'm going to use on a daily basis, you know. As test runs go, this went pretty well. And it's made me even more excited to get going, to leave the drive. But um, yeah, I do live here now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you very, very soon. 
for another vlog. Let me know what kind of thing you'd like to see. Can't wait for the travelling to begin. The adventures of Harley and Hope. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to stick. <laughs> Stay groovy. Goodbye, you beautiful.